Hi guys, and welcome back to HowMachineWorks.com. With the help of this animation, let's learn how a centrifugal clutch actually works. So on the screen, you have a centrifugal clutch animation. Let's identify the components. That's the clutch housing connected to the transmission in blue. Then we have the centrifugal clutch shoes inside. Then we have the engine shaft that's drive from the engine reaching the centrifugal clutch. Then we have the springs connecting the clutch shoes with the shaft. Right, so let's see the location where the centrifugal clutch is located. So that's our engine. Okay, then there we have the flywheel. After the flywheel, we have the engine drive shaft. The drive from the engine is going to the clutch. That's a centrifugal clutch over there. All right, then that's a drive to transmission. From the clutch, the drive goes to transmission. And finally, our transmission is there. So let's have a closer look, a zoom look at uh, the centrifugal clutch. So that's a centrifugal clutch, right? And inside we have uh, the clutch shoes, the springs and the shaft uh, from the engine. So that's uh, here. Okay, that's the location. So now let's uh, see further. When the engine uh, rotates, the RPM goes through uh, the engine shaft Again, let's see, that's the engine shaft. It rotates there into, inside the centrifugal clutch. That result in the centrifugal clutch shoes also to rotate because the shaft is connected to it. So as it rotates, what happens? There's a clutch housing connected to the transmission that's in blue. But you can see the clutch shoes and the clutch housing are not connected because there is a gap. So as there's a gap, the drive from the engine which is reaching the clutch shoes is not going uh, to the clutch housing. Thereby, it's not going to the transmission. So uh, this is how it looks like. This is the clutch shoes rotating inside. And as the RPM increases, uh, the, due to the centrifugal force, you can see as it's rotated, there's a centrifugal force. The clutch shoes actually get more closer to the clutch housing. And further as the speed increases, it gets in contact with the clutch housing. And that's how the drive from the engine, which is reaching uh, the clutch shoes, is getting transmitted to the clutch housing and thereby it goes to the transmission. This is due to the centrifugal force. That's why it's called as a centrifugal clutch. So let's see uh, in more detail. The engine is getting uh, the drive. So the engine shaft here rotates like this and that drive is getting to the shaft inside uh, the centrifugal clutch. So as it rotates, it gets in contact. You can see the shoes, that's the centrifugal clutch shoes and the centrifugal uh, housing gets in contact. So that's a drive gets to the uh, housing, the clutch housing. So that's how the clutch housing is rotating. And see now, as it is in contact, the clutch housing is now rotating. And as the clutch housing rotates, you can see here the clutch housing rotates, the drive from the housing as it is connected through this particular shaft, the transmission, that green shaft, that's a clutch shaft rotates and that makes the drive reach the transmission finally. So that's how a centrifugal clutch actually works. So I believe you understand it's working. For more videos, please click the subscribe button so that you'll get more updates. You can also visit our website howmachineworks.com. If you like this video, please click the like button or do drop a comment to keep our team motivated which will help us to upload more videos. Thanks for watching this video. Happy learning.